This is a very important video presentation for those that are on the fence, those that believe in so-called space travel. I'm going to show three different astronauts from three different countries dropping items in zero gravity, so-called zero gravity aboard the ISS. So, again, this is so very important to understand. It's not just NASA, the U.S. that's pulling this deception off. It's all these world so-called space organizations. And let's get right to it with this Dutch astronaut, Andre Cooper. Let's take a listen to what he says here. And you stick it to the wall, you know? We have tape everywhere to fix things. Uh, we have this kind of Velcro straps, so you can fix it around cables. And uh, so you need all these things to, uh, to keep your stuff in place, because otherwise you lose it. It just floats away, and it doesn't fall down. And it doesn't fall down, and that's very key and very important. Let's get right to it with Andre Coopers during this tour aboard the so-called ISS. Here achter these panelen wordt de urine opgevangen. I'm going to stop right there. And what he's pulling on is not an actual screw; it's a ring that's attached to this panel. And let's take a look at what happens here and take a very close listen to it drop. There he goes. Now he's going down, looking down for it. And very important, again, you see the rings. Here's a ring, and there's no ring here because it dropped. So again, getting back to what he said earlier. You lose it. It just floats away, and it doesn't fall down. And he says, again, it doesn't fall down. We just saw that happen. Now, very interesting. Let's take a look here at this YouTube video. Now, I found this pretty hilarious with the Andre Cooper's tour the U.S. edition with the European Space Agency's official YouTube channel. Let's take a look here at the comments. And you don't see much interaction whatsoever by, as you can see, the European Space Agency's, uh, the handler of the channel itself. There's no interaction, or very little, I should say, as you scroll around. There's no responses, no hearts. But take a look here. I find it pretty hilarious what I came across here as I scroll. Again, no interaction. You have to keep scrolling, and you'll see one here with Mike, Andres Cooper's legend. You'll see the heart by the European Space Agency that runs the channel on YouTube. But take a look here. Here's another heart. Love the screw drop. <laughs> and you get, you get a heart by the European Space Agency. It's not actual screw, it's the ring, but still, you see no other interaction. You get two, and one is for the screw drop, or the uh, the ring drop, and the other is for calling, again, Andre Cooper's legend. And again, all these other people saying how they love space travel, how amazing it is aboard the ISS, they're getting no response. I just find that pretty hilarious. And again, it's all about mockery. And here's just a little bit of a close-up of the heart from, again, the European Space Agency on YouTube. <laughs> and here it is right here again. Uh, unbelievable. This world we're living in. Nothing but lies. And uh, moving on here with another astronaut, this Italian astronaut, Paolo Nespoli, as he drops a clip here. Let's take a look here. I'm going to play in slow motion for those that might be questioning what I'm presenting. It's going to be clear as day. Let's take a look. Uh, an Italian on the ISS, but Dropped. we also have a lot of Italy on the station. Now he just turns around. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. <laughs> How many parts? Now let's, let's stop here for a second and look at this slowly. I'm going to play it at two different slower speeds. Let's take a look at this one first. And obviously he drops it in supposed zero gravity aboard the ISS. Uh, an Italian there he goes. on the ISS, but we also have a lot of he turns around again. Now here's super parts. slow, and you're going to see him actually with his right hand kind of hit it, and it falls. And you see that smirk on his face as he turns around. He doesn't know what to do, doesn't know how to react, so he kind of turns around for who knows whatever reason besides being completely embarrassed. Now, this, as we've seen so many times, with the astronauts. They love to throw a microphone around in so-called outer space. Why not just be wireless? You know, what are we back 
you know, in the 70s or 80s, still using these microphones. This is just a prop, and they're trying to show off their zero G and so called ISS. But again, nothing but smoke and mirrors, nonsense, garbage from these frauds, these liars. Now, watch this as this one so called astronaut is holding this inflatable globe. Let's play this clip and take a look at what happens. And he drops it. And look at the expressions from all the other so-called astronauts. And look at this face here, the one in the middle, the ringleader of this circus. Uh-oh, back up. Completely embarrassing. Let's take a closer look. And there he goes. And look at her face here as it drops. Oops, oops. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's supposed to happen. Completely embarrassing. And what it comes down to, liars always expose themselves. They can't, they can't keep their lies straight. And this is transparent as transparent gets. But of course, the NASA fanboys, the SpaceX fanboys, they're not going to have anything to do with this. They're going to make every excuse in the book, of course. Because once someone believes a lie, it's very hard to unbelieve a lie. And that's all comes down to ego. And ego is the biggest enemy of truth. And let's play a little bit closer even clip here as he drops it once again and suppose that zero gravity. There's absolutely no excuse. It gets back to Andre Cooper who says things do not drop in space. And oops. <laughs> so look at the expression here coming up with the so-called astronauts. And their faces speak a million words as it drops. And look at the reaction. Look at her face specifically. This guy here starts smiling. They don't know what to do. <laughs> and the smiles, you know. Obviously, they are completely embarrassed. Obviously, not part of the script. And, of course, the foundation of the ISS with Russia and the U.S. docking supposedly in 1998, the two modules, and of course, no, no real footage of the so-called ISS being constructed, because obviously it doesn't exist. It's all smoke and mirrors, nothing but a lie. And this is, again, the foundation of the world life system, supposedly living on a spinning ball, zipping through outer space. And again, what all comes down to is liars, again, can't keep their lies straight and busted once again. And for those that cannot see the obvious fakery I just showed, and again, this is official NASA footage, supposedly, of the construction, obviously just CGI, and obviously they cannot show us real construction taking place because there is no ISS. There are no space travel missions. Again, people need to wake up and realize this whole world system is nothing but a lie. It's been lied to by textbooks, and that dude who jumped out of a perfectly good balloon, um, <laughs> what's his name? Felix! Felix Bumgardner. Uh, he would have been about two millimeters above the surface of this globe. That's his edge of space jump. <laughs> now, you know, I, I don't, it's fine. He wants to, I don't have a problem if he does it, but the, the honesty of it would greatly diminish what I think people thought he was actually doing. And not only that, they made sure to photograph him standing there with a really wide angle lens, which curves horizontal lines. Right. So in the photo, you see this curvature of Earth's surface, and he said, wow, he's in space, look at that. No, he's not. At that height, you don't see, you don't see the curvature of the Earth if you are two millimeters above this beach ball. Is, you just don't. That stuff is flat. That stuff is flat. That stuff is flat. You've been lied to by textbooks. Keep us asleep. Keep us selfish. Keep us sedated.